So I just sorted the main Blender market page by most sales and checked out the most popular paid add-ons ever made for Blender. And I'll be honest, I don't know what half of these even do and why they're so famous. And since the Black Friday sale is now on, I thought I'll spend a little bit of money and try them all out and see if they're really worth the hype. So let's begin, in no particular order, with the physical open water add-on. Which is an add-on that makes ocean generation a breeze with a ton of presets. First of all, there are a ton of sliders to control the final look from that set preset. And I love that all you need is just one simple click to get started. So if you're looking to make like an epic ship battle or something, or any scene with an ocean in it, ditch the ocean modifier that Blender comes pre-packed with and just get this add-on. It's my guarantee you won't regret it. And if you're not looking to make an ocean, but just a general lake or pond kind of water body, I recommend the real water add-on. This again comes with a lot of well-made presets and I love the foam effect you get out of most of them. And again, a ton of material and mesh controls here too. And I'm already using both these add-ons on a regular basis because I love making environments with water bodies in them. So I can't recommend both of them enough. After the water though, comes the terrain. And you know the ant landscape add-on that everyone uses for their landscapes in Blender? Well, true terrain is the ant landscape add-on but on heavy, heavy steroids. The add-on preference section alone can tell you how power-packed this add-on is with layer-based geometry blending to layer-based shader blending to water and heat erosion, even a scattering system. It's got everything you will ever need to make mountains and terrains in Blender ever again. So again, for environment artists, this is highly, highly recommended. But enough about ground level add-ons, let's now talk about the sky and clouds. Starting with the Real Clouds Asset Pack, an amazing collection of super realistic, high quality VDB clouds. Not just that, they've got a geometry node asset as well that will help you turn any shape or form you want to a cloud as well, which is also very, very cool. Same applies for the Cloudscape Asset Pack as well. This collection is even bigger with even more options and not just clouds, but fireballs and explosions and fireworks as well. It even comes with a geoscatter file that you can use to create like a procedural sky system if you want, which is also really great. So if you have any cloud centric or volumetric centric project coming up, these are must have asset packs in my opinion. But let's now move on to actual sky generation add-ons, starting with True Sky, which is a sky, cloud, and even fog generation add-on. It's got a bunch of handy controls and presets for the sky. It's got a bunch of handy controls and presets for the clouds as well. And for a bonus, they've also got this rolling fog feature as well that I really, really like. So if basic HDRIs and image textures are not working for you and your 3D scene, maybe it's time to give an add-on like True Sky a try. Same goes for the physical atmosphere add-on as well. This also has a really cool set of presets. I would say with a touch of sci-fi in it, which I really, really like. But again, the amount of control you get here too is astonishing from stars to clouds to atmosphere to super intricate sun control sliders you're ever gonna need. So again, it may be time to ditch your regular HDRIs and give both these sky add-ons a try. And talking of sci-fi, the Celestial Objects add-on is a must too if you want to create beautiful celestial planets with options to add planetary atmosphere around it and even procedural rings if you want. I was talking to the developers of the add-ons and they said they are working on a one-click planet generation solution as well for the next update. So the whole process should become even easier than now. So to all the sci-fi fanatics out there, you should keep an eye out for this add-on. But getting back to Earth now, we gotta talk about everyone's favorite tree and plant add-on, Botanic. There's no point in talking too much about this add-on because chances are 99% of you watching already have it. So just enjoy this little leaf blowing in the wind that I made with this add-on. If this doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. Same goes for the Geoscatter add-on as well. I can't imagine why any season 3D artist wouldn't have Geoscatter. Because you're gonna need a good scattering tool for any kind of scene you're ever gonna make. So I don't know about you, but I recommend you get both these add-ons irrespective of what kind of art you make. But for environment artists, these are must-have add-ons. Actually, I also gotta give a shout out to one of my favorite add-ons I use in almost all my environments. That is the Baga IV add-on. And I love add-ons like these that add that extra level of detail to your scene. You know, cables or smoke puffs. That just elevates your scene in that last round of revisions. But yeah, Baga IV is one of my favorite add-ons from that category. But now let's make a switch up to a different kind of a little more urban environment and talk about the procedural alleys add-on. And I'll be honest, I was one of the people who always thought these building generators add-ons were cool ideas 
ideas, but never really usable in a real world project. But boy, oh boy, was I wrong. Because this add-on is perfect for doodling like a cityscape in just a few seconds. And yeah, you heard me right, doodling, because that's how easy it all feels. So if you as well are in need for a quick cityscape, procedural alleys might be a lifesaver for you. From the same developers actually comes another amazing add-on called the procedural signs add-on. This is again that extra details kind of add-on that comes in really handy at the last stage of designing an urban kind of environment, you know like Cyberpunk or Tokyo Street, to add that extra level of detail to your environment. I love that you can type anything you want and generate a neon sign out of it and use any kind of image you want for these billboards. The possibilities are unlimited. Here. But hey, now that we have the city ready, it might be time to bring it to life with some automobiles or traffic, if you will. And oh my god, this add-on is the complete package for everything cars. First of all, it's got a great collection of assets. Second of all, every car is fully rigged and customizable here. And third of all, they've got a road builder too in the add-on, which just works flawlessly. That could be its own add-on, to be honest. So again, if you need good quality car assets and road assets, get this add-on ASAP. And while we are on the topic of these extra details kind of add-ons, I have to mention the procedural crowds add-on and the population add-on as well. Both great add-ons to add some extra life to your scene. Procedural crowds is a little cheaper, but does all the basics right. It's great for background people or general stadium crowds. And the population add-on does all that and more because it's a little more expensive, but rightly so because it gives you much more granular control over the crowd with really high fidelity 3D scans so you can use them in the background or even up close. All that to say both the add-ons are great get the one you can afford if you can afford both get both of them and you can have the most lively and the most random crowd ever possible and i think this would be the perfect segue to move from crowds to individual human beings and i'm obviously talking about the human generator add-on <laughs> oh my god it's literally like a video game character creator within blender you can get serious with it if you want or get really really crazy too if you want this is a must-have add-on for everybody i'm not even kidding if you need a character for a still or an animated shot this is it look nowhere else it's it's the perfect add-on and you know the perfect add-on that goes with it it's the global skin add-on that applies a super photorealistic fully procedural skin shader on your generated human. It works with other character generators as well like character creator or dash 3D or even meta humans. And it's crazy how detailed the final thing looks. I mean look at the skin texture here, it's crazy. And the crazier part is it's all procedural. I mean they've got a slider called micro pore. So yeah, pair these last two add-ons together for generating a quick and procedural human model. But hey, not everybody likes to generate human beings. Some people just want to learn how to do it from scratch. And boy, have I got a treat for you if you're one of them. Because the human course by CG Cookie is one of the best courses I've ever taken in my life. I don't know what you're thinking. Isn't it super difficult to make like a photorealistic human being in Blender? Well, it is, but the tutor, Kent Trammell, takes you through the whole process like you are a five-year-old, which believe it or not is super hard to do for a course like this. So just get it. Stop thinking about it and just get it and thank me later. And if you do end up sculpting a 3D character from scratch, you're gonna need to learn to re topologize as well. And you know, there are numerous painstakingly slow and tedious ways you can do that in Blender intrinsically, but don't even go there. Just get the re -top of flow add-on. There's a reason why more than 14,000 people have paid for this add-on and made it one of the biggest Blender add-ons ever. So don't be stupid, just get the add-on immediately if you haven't already. After retopology though, all these models you've created and generated will be kind of boring if you don't animate them. And that's where the auto rig add-on comes in. And talk about the perfect add-on name, because guess what? It auto rigs things for you. All you gotta do is just select some joints and crotches and you're done, that's it. You have a fully functioning rig in just a few seconds. I mean, come on, do you need me to convince you even more? This is the all time best selling blender add-on ever for a reason because rigging is not fun and an add-on that makes it so easy has to be the most sold blender add-on ever so yeah buy it now if you don't want to feel left out and actually there's no point in learning to rig if you aren't gonna animate and that's where another smashing course comes to mind the alive course by p2 design academy and i'm just gonna roll their clip because that's all i need to do i mean come on you don't want to learn how to do this are you crazy get the course now come on but hey 
I don't think there's any point in learning realistic animations, making realistic human beings and whatnot, if the camera itself in Blender isn't super realistic. And that's where the Pro Lens 2 add-on comes in mind to fix the default bokeh rings you get out of the default Blender camera. It gives the bokeh rings some imperfections in character, like a real camera should. Perfect for a close-up shot like this. Same goes for the cam effects add-on as well, it's the big brother to the Pro Lens add-on in the sense that it does the same thing but with a lot more options and not just the bokeh ring imperfections by the way but also lens dirt imperfections that you can add to your blender camera intrinsically and you won't have to worry about it in post. I still use them till date on shots where I get some bokeh rings in the background to play around with in a shot. These add-ons just elevate that mediocre looking shot to something else altogether with a single click of a button too which is just crazy. So you gotta give them a try. And you know what other kind of imperfection I use way too often on my close up scenes is surface imperfections. And there is no better add on for that in the blender space than the realistic touch imperfections. An amazing collection of procedural surface imperfections from dirt to scratches to fingerprints to grunge maps. It's got everything you'll ever need. And do not mistake these assets for just image textures by the way. These are full on procedural node groups that you can mix and match together however you want. A must have for every 3D artist in my opinion. Especially the ones who want to take their material and texturing game to the next level. And talking of next level materials, let's not talk about one of my favorite material libraries ever, the Sanctus material library. This library is so so, so versatile you'll actually lose your mind. I mean look at the quality of some of these materials and what's crazy is all of it is just completely procedural and it doesn't only have just basic wood and metal materials but weird ass toon shaders as well and rope and cable materials too and on top of that a full on sci-fi decal system as well. I can't say enough good things about this add-on. Trust me just buy this add-on and you will not regret it. It's my guarantee. Same goes for the real time materials pack as well. It's got all the daily materials you're ever gonna need, but also the crazy abstract stuff as well when you wanna have some fun in a render. Again, all procedural, all high quality. So just enter your card details in the comment section below and I'll buy it for you. I'll do it for you. And while I'm at it, you know what? I'll also add the Clado material pack to the cart as well. Cause oh my god, this is not just an asset pack. This is a whole art style in itself. I mean, look at Savannah XYZ or Southern Shorty's latest short film or some of Smeef's visual as well. You'll see this pack make an appearance time and time again in some of the most established Blender artists ever. Cause it is just that well made. With procedural controls like fingerprint markers and cracks and stones, it's got everything you'll ever need for that Play-Doh clay-like stylistic look. So if you're looking to venture into this stylistic 3D world, I suggest you start here and you'll probably never leave. There's another material pack that I find myself using a lot, the Shaders Plus pack by Smouse. You know there are some materials like wood and metal that you find yourself using a lot when making stuff in 3D. Well one of those materials is usually glass and I haven't had to look for any glass materials for a long time since I started using this pack because it's got everything you'll ever need. All the basic glass materials, glass materials with dispersion as well and it's highlight feature glass materials with realistic caustics. Inbuilt into the add-on, you don't have to check any boxes or enable any features to get this effect. It's completely plug and play and over that they've got other thin film and metallic material presets as well that also come in really handy from time to time. So stop using your basic blender default glass materials and get some cool looking shader plus presets into your arsenal for all your future projects. From the same developer actually comes another awesome add-on called the Gobo Plus add-on which as you might have already guessed is a collection of gobos but not just filled with image textures by the way but full on procedural node setups that you can manipulate however you want. And I don't know about you but when I'm out of lighting ideas and nothing seems to be working in a render I turn to gobos all the time and almost every time just settle with them immediately because of how good they instantly make the render look. So if you've been craving some lighting inspiration lately a gobo pack like this is exciting exactly what you need. And talking of lighting struggles, you know what, I'm not exaggerating, ever since I've taken the cinematic lighting course by Creative Shrimp, my understanding about lighting as a topic has increased tenfold. No kidding. Lighting was always a mysterious topic for me, I usually just place lights wherever and hoped they improved my render. But after the course, I think I finally have a grasp over what makes a lighting setup cinematic and tell a proper story, than just lights being a bunch of point of illuminations, you know. I know it, you know it, we all struggle with lighting and there's one course that has helped me get better at it and it's the cinematic lighting course. So get it and get it fast before the sale ends. Creative Shrimp has launched a bunch of successful courses actually in the past. You can pick any course from their catalog to be honest and won't be disappointed by it. 
But from that same catalog comes one of my most used add-ons from the whole list, the Dust Particles Plus add-on. And as the name suggests, it helps you create dust particles in your scene. But not just that, you could make papers flying around or leaves blowing around or everyone's favorite, some moths buzzing around a light source. Don't be fooled by its name, it does way more than just add some dust particles in your scene. This is again one of those extra details add-on that just brings a new life to your scene. So it's up to you. You want to keep your scene bland and empty and boring, dust-free and moth free sure it's your loss but another extra little effect that i love adding in a lot of my scenes is rain and the bag of rain generator add-on is the perfect add-on for that and you know you can add rain through overlays in your scene in post but that to me never looks convincing enough having real rain particles in the scene sells the whole effect way more in my opinion especially when you get these tiny splashes with the add-on as well so if you're thinking about making a moody rainy scene this is the add-on for you and by the way, this drunk police car driving simulation was all done with the next add-on called the RBC add-on. And I've talked about this add-on way too often on this channel. I've made a whole short film with the help of this add-on. So can you please, if you are making a car-based animation in Blender, just get the add-on. Just get it. It's a car driving simulator within Blender. It's not even an add-on. I'm telling you, just get it and thank me later. Another add-on you should just get is the Flip Fluids add-on because the built-in Blender Fluid system is, I mean, it's meant to test your patience to put it delicately. And the Flip Fluids add-on took me 5 minutes to figure out, 5 minutes to set up a scene, 5 minutes to bake a scene and I was done. If there was ever an add-on to justify time as money, it is this add-on. So I don't care if you have a fluid simulation project in mind and you have not given Flip Fluids a try, you are dumber than a dummy. And yeah, I think that's it. And I gotta say, Blender being a free and open source tool is great, but what really takes it to the next level in my opinion are its add-ons and extensions. And I understand for some buying expensive add-ons is a difficult decision, but what I always say is free can only get you so far. You can be at the beginner and intermediate level and use Blender absolutely for free forever, but to make that jump to the professional level, I feel like paid add-ons and courses are a necessity, at least in my experience. So save a little bit of money if you can and get the add-on you have wishlisted for months and tell me if you don't see an immediate jump in the quality of work you produce. And yeah, no better time to get an add-on than now since the Black Friday week is on and Blender Market usually has the best sale of the year during this time. So no better time to get your wishlisted add-ons than now. Use the links in the description if you want to support the channel along the way too. It won't cost you any extra money and I'll just receive a portion of the final price you paid towards the add-on. So yeah, please use the links if you can. And yeah, I think that's it. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.